hey y'all welcome back or welcome to my channel thank you guys for coming to check out the video today i am headed into dollar tree on this beautiful sunday morning today um i have a couple of things that i need to get out of here i don't need too much i need to go in here to get some dish detergent and i also need to get some soap there's a particular soap that i can only find at dollar tree and some dollar trees have it some don't this dollar tree that i'm about to go into i haven't been to this one in like years like i haven't been over here so this is a new one for me um and i'm hoping that they have everything that i need in here like i said i only really need two items but i want to go in here and kind of check out what they have anyway kind of check out what they have in stock see what's new up in dollar tree because it's been a minute since i've actually been to dollar tree at all so guys let's go in here and let's see what i can find all right let's go Heading into Dollar Tree right now. Let's go in here and see what we can find. So walking into Dollar Tree, of course they already have all the Halloween stuff in here. This is all cute. I like these new bags. These look like some pretty sturdy bags. Leave a comment down below if you guys would buy these bags at a Dollar Tree. They also got the buckets down there. The buckets look kind of bigger than usual. Yeah, these are some pretty nice size buckets. $1.25, you cannot beat that. They have all these decorations over here. Are you guys ready for the holidays? Are you guys ready for Halloween? Do you guys even celebrate Halloween? Leave a comment down below. I typically don't celebrate Halloween. I don't really get into the whole Halloween thing, but I am ready for this season. I am ready for the holidays. Of course, because Halloween is the end of the month. They have all these, these are little notepads. I'm guessing these are little things for like, to put in like little goodie bags and stuff like that. But they have a bunch of Halloween decorations. And come over here, they have a bunch of them over here. They got the pumpkins and the ghosts. I like this little witch thing right here. This is cute. Some bats, oh, those are for pets, okay. They got all this right here. All this over here, his little knives, all this stuff. This is a cut out of a skeleton. And this one, this is some wall decorations. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute little backdrop. Okay. And that one right there, I think I like this one though. That's cute. All these decorations over here as well. What is this? which is bruised this little what are they party shaker this is cute i like that i got that in three different colors so the main thing like i said that i wanted to come in here for i need some dish detergent and then i also am looking for a particular soap that i can only find here in the dollar tree this is a different Dollar Tree than I usually go to. This one is actually much, much bigger than the one that I usually go to. So I don't even know where stuff is in this one, but we are gonna figure it out. What I do like is that it's nice and clean in this one. Compared to the other ones um, that I've gone to, this one is a lot cleaner. So I'm over here by the dish detergent. I'm actually looking for some Dawn. They usually have the little bottles of Dawn and that's what I don't see. So I'm just gonna grab the palm olive instead and I'm just gonna get this one. What is this? This is new. This says Angel Mind Baby Room Air Freshener, Fresh, clean, fresh and Clean Baby Scent. Okay. This is new. I've never seen this before, but I don't know if I would want to spray this in my kid's room, though. They got these wizards. These wizard sprays, odor eliminator and air freshener. Those are $1.25. What I have noticed is Dollar Tree has got some new stuff in here. A lot of new stuff that I haven't seen before. What is this? This is a cleaning paste. I got a wash machine cleaner, washing machine cleaner. Okay, I've never seen these before. You know what? That makes sense. 
and this actually comes with three of them in there that is not bad for a dollar 25 somebody already opened it but they have that in here so i really wanted to come in here and also look for i had seen some hemp soap that um i can't remember who i seen with it but i remember seeing somebody with some hemp soap and they got it from the dollar store and i was like whoa i did not know they sold it at the dollar store and it is the actual hemp soap so i want to see if they have that while i'm in here what is this right here this is a glow serum okay you got some cellulite body cream right here and these are all a dollar 25. This is a hemp seed clay mask. Maybe they don't have it out. So I'm not seeing a whole bunch of stuff in here today. One thing about the Dollar Tree, they are always loaded up on snacks and I don't need any snacks, but look at this. They have the Mexican style street corn, corn nuts. And then they got these loaded taco ones over here. Have you guys tried these or would you ever try these? Leave a comment down below if you guys would try the loaded taco corn nuts or the Mexican street style corn nuts. So I'm coming over here to the soap section and it looks like they are not stocked in here. Like I said, this is my first time actually coming to this Dollar Tree and it doesn't look like they have too much of anything. But you know what? I do see the soap that I'm looking for and they have plenty of them. This soap right here, this pure cast out soap, smells really, really good. It lathers really, really good. And look, it is free from sulfate, paraben, dye, cruelty, all that stuff. It's olive oil, co coconut oil, and shea butter. Now they only have the lavender one, which usually I can't find the lavender one. I usually get the almond or the coconut. Yeah, these all say lavender. So I'm gonna get three of these because that one is by far the best smelling one. I think the lavender one. So I got my soap. They got a couple of these character socks. They don't really have much in here today at all, but these are some cool socks. For only $1.25, get you one pair of socks. They got Forrest Gump socks, <laughs> okay. Swedish Fish, they got Nerves, Planner Peanuts. They got, uh, what is her name? I cannot remember her name from The Little Mermaid, I think. I can't remember her name, Ursula. Ursula Socks. Then they got um, the lady from 101 Dalmatians, I think that is, Corella DeVille, Pringles, Monopoly, all them little socks down there. Those are actually cute, but they don't have a lot of them in here. Now their frozen food department doesn't look too bad. They actually look pretty stocked over here. I was buying these little sandwiches for my kids. I said that in a video before. I bought them for my older kids and they did not like them, but I noticed that they have a lot of stuff in here now. They have really come up with a lot of stuff. And then you got all this stuff that's beginning to be three and five dollars now too. So yeah, Dollar Tree is pretty stocked on their food right now. I don't know if I would buy any of this stuff in here. Cause I feel like you can get it for the same price at the store, at the regular stores versus getting it here at Dollar Tree. They got bacon in here. They actually have sliced bacon in here. Jamestown brand, I've never heard of that brand. But sliced bacon for $3 in here. I guess that's not bad. I mean, how much is it in the store? Pretty much the same price, maybe a couple dollars more, a couple dollars cheaper. I wanted to come over here. I try to avoid this aisle altogether, but my aunt is looking for a diamond dot. And the last time we were in Dollar Tree, we found one, um, which was good that it was only $1.25 because I think the last one that we got um, was like $7. If you guys don't know what a diamond dot is, it's just a little something similar to this, except for you using like little diamonds. It's actually similar to this where you're doing it by a pattern but I don't see those in here and they just might not have them so I might have to go to another Dollar Tree to find her the diamond dots um, but they do have a bunch of little stuff over here some puzzles oh this is new 
I've never seen this in here. This is a three-in-one game board. So chess, checkers, and backgammon. $1.25 for that. They got a little maze thing here. This is a little tic-tac-toe board. Okay, those are cute. Let me come over here. Maybe they have it over here. No, they don't have it over here. So they already have some Christmas ornaments out. They are already in the spirit for Christmas. I really like these little ornaments right here. These are cute. What I like about Dollar Tree is they have a bunch of ornaments and then of course they are all $1.25. And they've got some good ones this year. Are you guys getting trees this year? If so, how are you guys decorating your trees? I don't know if I'm gonna do a tree this year. And if I do, I definitely don't know the colors I wanna do. I wanna say last year I did, um, I wanna say it was blue and silver. And I really like those colors because they have some really cute ornaments that are blue and silver, but they don't have too many today. They just have this one and those ones, but they do got some cute ornaments in here already, but not much of the Christmas stuff yet. Just this right here, this little section right here. Then this over here is the fall harvest. They don't have much of that. While I'm in here, I wanted to look for some placemats for um, the kids for their little tables. This looks like this is all they have. I'm looking for kitty ones like these, but I need one for both the little kids. And those are only for girls. I don't really want that one. And then they have those ones. Let's see. Yeah, these are all plain. I don't want any of these ones. So I'm going to pass on those. Honestly, guys, I came to this dollar store thinking that they was going to have a bunch of stuff. And I was wrong. So, yeah, that's what happens when you go to a new dollar store, though. You don't get the stuff that you really want. I like this color, this peach color. All right, family, that is the end of my video. As you guys can see, I didn't find much in there, but I did find what I was looking for as far as the dish detergent and the soap. They didn't really have too much in there. I don't know if they just are not putting out their stock or if they just don't have any stock, but I did see a couple things that I haven't seen in um, other, the other Dollar Trees, but honestly, I haven't really been to Dollar Tree for a while, but this one was pretty empty. I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to look and see a bunch of different stuff that I did not see. So I was a little disappointed about that, but hey, that's how it goes. Not every Dollar Tree is gonna be the same. You know, um, I think from now on, I'm just gonna stick to going to the Dollar Tree that I know has a bunch of stuff in it. But I am glad that I was able to find that um, soap because I can barely find that soap anywhere and it's always a hit or miss when I go to Dollar Tree. And then also to find that lavender scented one um, yeah, I usually don't find that one at all. That is the end of the video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye.